one day that my best friend was a cat I love my cat he's, he's a good man you know he is always by my side he's a very gentle gentle spirit and uh, I love him you know I uh, had him for a few years you know hard to imagine what it would be like without him but I know his patterns. And these patterns are that, you know, he would just sit around all day. Sometimes he'd get up, but like he'd go eat or he'd go take a shit or a piss. And that's all he would do. You know, he would lie down, he would eat, he would shit, he would piss. And it was just, uh,. It was interesting. Then I realized that that's all I do. So in a way, I'd become like, like my cat, you know, just sit around, don't do much. It's uh, I don't know, kind of know how to feel about it. I mean, yeah, I like this cat. I think he's happy, but you know, I'm a human being. I should. You know, do something. Get up, maybe. Do something with my life, you know. Because I'm not a cat. I'm not that cute, you know. It is what it is. So then I, uh, continue to hang out with my cat, you know. Like like normal and then I realized that he was here to teach me something even though he didn't do much and that lesson was that you know he could do what he wanted without anything bothering him even though it's rather you know quite a bit of noise going on here but that uh, didn't stop him from uh, doing what he wanted to do. And uh, he continued to just be who he was. So one night, I get pissed fucking drunk out of my skull. And I'm just completely hammered. I smash a fucking stereo. And I uh, stabbed it a few times with a katana too. So, I felt like shit, you know, and, uh, my cat, he, uh, came to hang out with me that night to make me feel better, and, uh, it really did comfort me. I'm, uh, sleeping with my cat tonight, I don't want to be alone. And, uh, so, I, uh, you know fell asleep next while he was next to me and uh, I woke up in the morning feeling much better so uh, it really helped it really really helped I'm currently making a documentary about my cat okay um 
So I I don't know. I'd like to get some of your thoughts on on cats in general. On cats. Yeah. All right, I've been I've been getting a lot of that. The cat, some are dick, some are okay. Um, some can be really annoying, some can be really chill. I've never been able to have a cat before because of my allergies. So same for dogs, but it a miss experience for me. I haven't had like. Strong, strong experience with cats, mostly dogs. But overall, I think they're okay creatures. They carry themselves pretty well. I don't know what to say about cats. They're cute and fluffy. I don't know. They can be evil sometimes. Hello, Nick. Hey, um, I'm currently making a documentary about my cat. Okay. Uh, do you have anything, what, what are your thoughts on, on cats, the feline animals? Eh, don't care much for them. Alright, alright. They're sort of evil at heart. Oh, okay. Kind of like me. Uh, you don't kill things just for the fun of it and depopulate the entire animal community for your own entertainment. That sounds fun, though. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to a cat. They think it's hilarious. What are your thoughts on cats? What are my thoughts on cats? Alright, alright. I uh, that's a good answer, thank you. Of course. So that made me think, and it just um, really made me think. I'm sorry. Um, it, it made me think that I was indeed like a cat, you know, vicious. for properly could turn into something quite scary. It's frightening.